All right, let's check that out. We got the VKS back in action. I put this here because I didn't want the uh, the laser to um, bounce back in my eyes. So I, that's why I had this. Pretty good grouping using my laser. Uh, my target was an egg roll container. You can see every shot went through. You can see the damage inside. They did not go through the back side. I went through the first side. Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. I want to talk to you today about storing your VKS or other launcher. How do I store my VKS? I keep it in the actual factory box, just like this. Uh, it keeps dust out, which I think is very important. I keep uh, one 15 round mag ready. I have plenty of desiccant packs in there. I have one 10 round mag ready fully loaded with jewels and I keep it inside and um, I think that's the best way to store it for me. It's not locked up. I don't need to have it locked whenever it's ready. Pull it out from where I store it uh, and pull it and it's ready to go. Keeps it away from the dust and the dust gets on everything. It will get inside your launcher over time uh, and that fill nipple is one thing but to actually keep it from going in through the barrel getting inside the launcher, mixing with the oils and getting grimy. When you store it long-term, keep it in a sealed container. It keeps dust out and it'll be in perfect condition when you open it back up. So you're probably wondering where I keep all the foam from, from the case that came with the VKS. I just got it all stacked up here in a corner, but it's good to keep them in case you were packing it up for, for shipping where you really want it tight and you really want to put things in there the way they were from factory. Also, you, you might want it if you're ever going to resell it in the future. Uh, but otherwise, these are, these are not useful for your day-to-day -day for storing. But the case is really important, I feel, to keep dust out. Uh, I know we're all busy. We have busy lives and we don't, uh, not all of us, have the time to be shooting and plinking and uh, modding and doing all the things that we might want to do with some of our time on the weekends. We go through periods of time where we're busy. I put my VKS in essentially storage for six months. I did not shoot it. I uh, did not lube it. I did not do anything. It was in the factory box, you know, protected from dust. It was fully lubed and, and it was in great shape at the time I put it away. Full tank. Uh, and then I basically were busy with uh, some, some other videos, doing some TCPs, uh, doing some travel. Uh, and now I got back to it. So I just finished doing a full breakdown and going through uh, and checking it out. And I've, I've always operated on the assumption that every six, eight weeks, um, and that's about what I had done for the first two years, uh, two and a half years, um, I always looking for any, any signs of the, the lube, uh, you know, being used up. And, and for sure, the more you shoot it, the more your, your lube um, and the liquid lube that, you, that you'll use, uh, that's gonna blow out of the system and that's gonna, gonna get depleted. And that is always gonna be the limiting one that's, that's gonna be the issue with long-term storage. And, and so I went in and I looked and I, I didn't put it on, vi on video, but I, I can basically summarize what I saw. Uh, there was still uh, plenty of this lube in my regulator. Uh, there was plenty of, of the lube on uh, most of the O-rings. Uh, there were a few O-rings where you, it's really hard to tell. And, and really the most important is the heat core O-ring. And in, in the air chamber um, that receives the firing bolt. And that, that O-ring is, um, is really the most important one that you keep lubed. And so I, uh, it's, it, it's not something that you can visually examine very well. So that one could be getting more dry. The, the, the O-rings on the outside of the air chamber were still in great shape and um, they were not uh, saturated in oil. Um, but I also uh, put a thin coating of this dye slick lube. I really love this, this product. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. I put this on my, on the on the the firing bolt inside and outside, and I also rub this over my O rings after I've already given them a little of this. I put this on, and I found that wherever I had this, they were in great shape. They were still lubed, um, and this provides a, just a really nice long term, and it'll last a lot longer than 
your liquid oil. And so I highly recommend that. And then everywhere where I had used the laceration grease from First Strike was also extremely well lubed. And I use this on non-moving parts, uh, but there are things like your ASA, your air chamber O-ring, and also inside, inside of the regulator, uh, you definitely wanna use this on your spring um, and your spring pad. Uh, and that area was in great shape. It was also very well lubed and, and I just cleaned it off and put, put fresh on there. Um, but this stuff lasts forever. This stuff lasts really well. Uh, six months later, this was still great. My, my um, firing bolt was, was lubed um, almost perfectly. And, you know, so I had always just done it on this sort of rule of thumb that I should do it every two months. And I still, I still think that, that if you're firing a lot, uh, you definitely need to do it proportional to the amount of times that you're actually firing it. Um, but there's only a few O-rings that are really the ones that you only put this on. And those are the ones where you don't want any of the grease. Uh, and, and those are the ones that are most concerning. Uh, and you don't want the, your, your heat core O-ring to blow out. And, and really you don't want any of your O-rings to give you problems because uh, any one O-ring, no matter how big or small, is the whole system is dependent on it. So I was uh, overall pretty comfortable that I could probably pull this at six months, charge it and use it, and I think it would have held up just fine for me. I didn't do any testing or shooting beforehand. Um, my air tank after six months was, it was exactly 3000 PSI um, six months ago. And you can see that it had drifted down a little bit. You can see right now it has gone down just a little bit. And um, it's at about 2.7, 2.8. So after six months, uh, I, I feel that's, I mean, I would rather it not change at all. <coughs> and I really never noticed it going down before because I was always shooting and always filling. So, but during this period of time, it actually gives you a chance to really truly assess your tank and see, you know, how well it's holding. And I think that's probably fairly typical. I, I mean, I, there may be folks who can comment and tell me, oh, they've looked at six months or nine months and, and they haven't lost any air. Uh, but I've also heard uh, plenty of stories of people that looked a month later and they're, they've lost a significant portion of air. So uh, I think that goes with the territory. I'm not concerned with that. I, in fact, I think that's probably within the normal range uh, for this. And there's really not a great way to lube the internals uh, with oil with the VKS like there is with the TCP or FSC where you can put some oil on the CO2 uh, cartridge and you can and they can have that flush through the system. Uh, here uh, you, you can drop some oil in uh, in a few spots um, but uh, you know to really get it into the, the the parts where you where you want there's there's not a lot of good options when you're using HPA. Um, there's you don't want to be putting any oil anywhere uh, around this system. You definitely never put oil inside the fill nipple, otherwise you're asking for a, uh, an explosion. So again, that's, that's something you should always make sure. And that's why I like to keep it closed as well with one of these fill caps because um, it just reminds me that nothing's supposed to go in there. And I, don't, I, don't, I know I wouldn't make that mistake, but you, you, know, you never want a drop of oil to get in there when you're doing service in any way, shape or form. Um, you possibly could put some oil inside the mag well down in here. You've got access to the regulator down here. You also got access to part of the bolt. Uh, it might be a, a good idea to drop some oil down in there periodically. Um, but there's not a lot else that you can do to get oil on inside without opening it up. And that's why I, you know, you definitely have to learn how to do that. You want to take good care of these. Uh, so that they'll perform when you need them. And uh, so that's why I did this test. It was kind of one of those things where I, uh, every month or so I was thinking, well, I should really lube this, it needs to be done. But I also thought, well, let's, let's give it a little bit of time. Uh, let's go a full six months um, and uh, then let's check it out. And that's what I did. Uh, firearms can be lubed. Uh, you, you get them lubed and they just need a trace of lubing on the metal to metal contacts and you can put them away. This one, I, I do think that the o-rings are going to dry out and they're, it's going to take time and in my case i i probably I would not have been able to fire nearly as many 
shots uh, before some problem uh, had I not taken the time to lube it and then now it's ready to go for, for some shooting sessions. But if you didn't do that, you, you're gonna get less life out of your O-rings and less life out of the marker uh, in general over time. Going in and, and doing it is, is actually not very long. I, it takes me about, after having done this for a couple years now, uh, and this is doing it really slow, really carefully, no rush, doing it on a weekend when, when I've got plenty of time, maybe 30, 40 minutes, and I can go from top to bottom and I can, I can uh, do the service that needs to be done, put all the pieces back together, and it's ready to go. So I hope this is helpful. I, I don't know how many people uh, go that long without shooting. I, it's really rare for me. I was At one point, I was shooting weekly. Keep in mind your O-rings, never forget about them because one, the, the time that you forget about them and one blows on you, then, then you're going to find yourself in a difficult situation. So I um, hope that's helpful for you. Everybody take care. We'll see you in the next one.